Hello Suffolk Shaver fans, welcome back for another shave video. Uh, today we're using Feats and Bow. It's uh, one of their limited edition soaps from last year I believe. Baskerville. Which is a dark, earthy, woody kind of scent. I'll show you the uh, label from the back. If you want to pause that at some point to see whatever information you want to take from that. Uh, razor I'm using today is the obviously the Gillette Slim again as I'm using it through December. I've got it on 7.4. The blade I'm using today is the uh, Persona Platinum Chrome. Uh, the brush I'm using, I've already loaded up, save a bit of time. It's the uh, Smoke 2 Band Badger with the cherry wood handle. After shave, I'm using I'm using two fine uh, splashes today, just to see what kind of uh, scent I get. It's a fine, clean vetiver. Mixing a few drops of that with fine lavender pour home. Just to do something a little bit different. And the balm I've ne never used on camber before. You may have seen uh, Paul H use this one. It's a small tube of balm or cream. You can get that out of the tube. So uh, it says 20cc on there, whatever that is. So just you, you only need just a little bit of that to uh, cover facial area. So let's make a start. Thanks to everybody who came along to the uh, live shave on Sunday. Very much appreciate it. Now when I press the uh, go live button, I don't know who's going to be turning up. It's nice if one person turns up, but I uh, had a few sort of surprises over the, the time I've gone live. Right, wet the face now. Load up, lather up. I'm going to say this soap is a limited edition, so I don't really want to use it too often. Those that have got Barrister, not Barrister Man, uh, Phoenix and Bow soaps. Now of the performance. The uh, children have just finished their schooling for today and for the Christmas period. It went in as normal, normal time, and they finished at one o'clock. So they're off now for a couple of weeks. I think some blue soaps are quite thirsty. So this is uh, one of their darker soaps, scent-wise. Can get brighter ones like uh, Albion and Citra Royale. This 
sort of Spitfire that's sort of in the middle. through the door today from the post office and when you get a card through the door from the post office it can mean one of two things either they've tried to deliver your parcel but you've either been out or Not heard them knocking on the door. And the second one, which is the one I got, custom charge. It's for the um, giveaway. I one with uh, one of the Facebook groups. I like, I like getting involved with the uh, giveaways, just a bit of fun, whether I win or don't win. But, uh, I don't think I'll be getting involved with uh, Giveaways anymore. Like every time I get stung by customs. No, I know I've not paid for the items I won. puts me on edge. I'm waiting for these uh, packages to come through. So, uh, Merry Christmas to you, Royal Mail. That's a bump there. So we'll cut that uh, on the Sunday shave. So hopefully I can go down to the post office and uh, retrieve this package sometime this week. giveaway I do uh, find the money to pay for the postage that was quite a small package that was the uh, local gin soap
paint the postage, but uh, got away with it there, with the customs. Well, pause it here now, get some uh, fresh water, rinse my face, and I'll be back in a second. Let's get lathering up again. Just wet the face again. I don't know if you um, bother sort of using darker scents through the sort of autumn and winter, or you just use whatever scent you feel like on the day. As I said, I don't use this one very often, so I'm using it now and then sort of move on to the other soaps. Had a long day yesterday. Um, Sunday night I had to go to bed early. I normally stay up till about four or five o'clock because of my work schedule during the week. I had to get up early on Monday to take our car to the dealership. get a, um, a job done. Luckily it was under warranty still. So I had to drive the other side of town to drop that off and then they gave us a uh, courtesy car to use. So I came back home It's the wife's day off, so she got ready and went, uh, done a bit of shopping. Then whilst we were shopping, got a call to say the car was done. Then, uh, as obviously I had to go to work later that day. So I've been up from eight o'clock Monday morning to get to bed until five o'clock this morning, or Tuesday morning. So I was uh, glad to get home and go to bed. Now on number three, for across the pass and against the grain. Across the grain and against the grain. many shaves now until Christmas.
the sprint to this one is probably about seven to eight. Pass two over. May or may or not said already that uh, I think some bone soaps can take quite a bit of water, probably have. Got to be careful with some soaps. So, some can take more water than others. Got enough enough. Got enough lather in the uh, brush for three passes this time. As I said, this one's not available anymore, but if you can get hold of uh, Obsidian, which is another Finks and Bow soap, that's uh, similar to this one, quite dark. So I guess it's grey now. Very slick soap. Obviously, the, the more water you add, the slicker it gets. And my next live shave is uh, New Year's Eve. So just let me know, drop a comment down below if you... I know you're probably going to be busy enjoying the uh, New Year's Eve festivities. Maybe if don't do a live one, maybe I'll record one. Then you can uh, watch it as and when you wish. Especially with the uh, sort of the time difference.
If you want to see a uh, review on any of the Phoenix and Bow soaps, check out uh, Nick and Nick Sorrel on Sorrel Shaves YouTube channel. He's probably the, their number one fan. He has all their soaps. So check his channel out. You've got a, if there's one sort of soap you're interested in. As I said, check his channel out and uh, I'm sure he's got a review video on his channel. Give you a sort of better insight and uh, the scent and the performance. Fine with the, uh, the slimmest, more efficient one side than it is the other. One side sort of tend to glide over and don't really cut. A thing with the uh, vintage razors, I guess. Yeah, another lovely shave over. Happy with that. Just run out the hot water. of the lather. It's got a good consistency. Got a nice uh, cushion. Got nice peaks. So it's nice and slick. I'm quite partial to these sort of a darker scents. Not really into the fruity citrusy scents. No on their own. If it's sort of part of a scent profile, then I don't mind. Let's so brush out. Just leave the soap on the face for a little bit. Just wash it off. open the ears. Just to pat the skin dry. I think I'm going to use um, Soap Commander Woods and Berries on 
Friday. And if I get to uh, shave Sunday, Christmas Eve, I'll use uh, Wickham Soap Company um, frankincense. So uh, rinse that off, just uh, use the Allen block now. You can either wet, wet your face or wet the Allen. I advise not to do both because that way you get Allen in your mouth. It's better to wet your face, wet the face than it is to wet the Allen. feedback on the top lip and the chin. I think that's due to um, you know, the hair around there. Those areas are more coarse and dense. You know, if, if you want a closer shave you're going to be going over those areas more often than the neck and the cheeks. So I'll just leave that on for a little bit whilst we go through the stars of the shave. Soap was uh, Finks and Bow, Baskerville. Brush was uh, Smoke Owners Club, Two Band Badger with a uh, cherry wood handle. Razor was Slim Adjustable. With the, uh, Sona Platinum Chrome. Uh, set and four for the first pass, set and three for the second, third pass. I'll just uh, rinse this off. Try again. Must be uh, quite exciting for uh, people that are new into wet shaving. It's their uh, first Christmas where they'll get uh, like wet shaving stuff for Christmas. What next? Just just to uh, take the lids off the aftershaves. Find room. And a couple of splashes of each. Oh, go on and hold your hand down. <laughs> As Paul does. Rub them together. They're very nice. I'm just getting the lavender first. And yeah, sort of a bit of a scent that comes out afterwards. It's all drying out. And a little bit of the cream. That's all you need, just a tiny little bit. Put too much of this on, that looks uh, a little bit greasy. Just rub it in my palms, thin it out. It's got just a natural sort of cream kind of scent to it. So it absorbs into the skin quite quickly. I think that can be found on eBay or Amazon. 
And it's got the price on here of, uh, I think there's a little bit of menthol in there too actually. So £4.50. But um, no, for a little bit, a little tube, but um, as I say, you only need a little bit and that goes a long way. So there we are, ladies and gents, another shave over. And the uh, week leading up to Christmas. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for your likes, thanks for your comments. Any questions, leave them in the comments box below or send me an email at the Suffolk Shaver at googlemail.com. Have some great shaves yourself. Yourself. Uh, have a great week, and uh, yeah, thanks for your comments. Thanks for your subscriptions. If you've not subscribed so far, then uh, please do so, and uh, click the bell icon for future notifications for future videos. And uh, whilst you're waiting for the next one, check out some of my other videos. And uh, yeah, as I said, have a great week. Have some great shaves, and I'll see you later in the week. Cheers, bye.